Okay, Boss RT3 straight blade controllers. I've looked all over the internet. There is no video for the straight blade joystick controller, only for the V plow. Uh, the V plow has a toggle switch right here on the side for up and down. Um, other than that, it's basically the same as the straight blade. You have your power on. And then right now, when you push it forward, it's locked. It's locked and forward. That is your float mode, okay? So you pull it back out of the float mode, and you pull it backwards, and that raises your blade. And then just your basic left and right. You have your left, right for moving the blade, left, right. And then you push it forward, and it stays there. It's locked. And that puts you automatically in float mode. Now the questions i had now here is here's the other controller this is the one that came with the plow it's your basic handheld controller it is uh it's compatible you can switch to either one this has the uh this has the nine pin plug on it and so does the joystick okay so you can unplug this and plug the joystick right in it's the same exact plug make sure you shut your power off to it um, mine really doesn't matter because once I turn the key off, it kills the power anyway. But if you don't have it wired in that way to where it's all-time power, you'll end up killing your battery. Okay, so it's the same plug. You just plug it right in. And one of my questions were if I push it all the way forward to where it's locked in in the float mode, is that the same as pushing the button on the handheld to where it, uh, it lights the lights up red on there? For hooking the plow up when you push the plow up. Yes, it's exactly the same. That's all you do. You just push push it forward so it locks forward, and that's your float mode for hooking and unhooking your blade or for when you're plowing so that the blade follows the contour of the surface you're plowing. And that's it. In a nutshell, that is the joystick controller for boss straight blade plows.